Hi guys and welcome back to another flow. It's great to be here again. It has been like two months that I've not been posting anything on the channel and that's because I had some freelance work to do and also because I was studying for the Houdini Certified Instructor exam. Now this exam is something that is released by side effects of course and it's just a way to prove officially that I can teach in a certified context so something like college or like maybe private mentorships and stuff like that. For me personally it was a way just to test my skills and know that I was updated with all the current topics in Houdini. I can gladly say that I past and what better way to celebrate this than to launch a new course for NotFlow. So it turns out that I of course was watching lots of tutorials and I found that it's very hard to find a real beginner's tutorial. And what I mean by that is that even my tutorial, they assume a certain level of knowledge in Houdini, maybe even start like how to navigate the viewport or how to install Houdini, it's stuff that I've seen very rarely online. So in this course, we'll basically start from that, just the basics of the basics. And from there, we'll start building everything up, but starting absolutely from scratch. So if you are a Blender user, if you are a Maya user, if you just wanted to learn Houdini as your first software, this is the right course for you. I will do my best to make it as simple as possible, and I will be open to any kind of feedback so you guys can let me know with comments to just change the direction of the course in the way you prefer. This is just the start of a crazy new adventure, so I'm really excited. Let's start. So let's start with how to download Houdini. I don't think I have to explain what Houdini is. I was writing the script and I was thinking about it, but if you're here, you probably know what Houdini is and why it's important to learn it. At this point, we can just look for SideFX Houdini and go on the first link. So here on SideFX website, there are so many things over here, but they are all beautiful. So we have different events or applications of Houdini in the industry. And on top here, we can also see that Houdini 21 is just being released. So lots of new features, lots of cool stuff, but let's focus on the best for now. So if you want to install Houdini, the first step is to go here into the try buy drop down menu and choose download. You will be asked to create an account. Of course I already have it so I will click on login. The next step is to download the launcher. The launcher will be your portal to Houdini so you can just click here and download it. In my case I have already downloaded that of course so I will go here in my taskbar or you can look for it in start menu and I can open my Houdini launcher. So you will find something like this. Probably you won't have any Houdini versions over here. So let's see how to install your first Houdini version. Let's click on install Houdini and you will be prompted to login. In this case he has already done everything by default, in some case you need to actually add your email and password but I can now close this one and go back to my launcher. It's now asking for a version to install. In your case you want to choose between these two, the production build and the daily build. Because it's already installed on my site I cannot click on them but you will need to click on one of those. Let's analyze the difference between the production build and the daily build because I've seen this is one of the topics that tends to create more confusion. So I will go back to the same page and I will go down here. If you want even more details you can click on these links. To give you an idea, the production builds tend to be way more stable, so they are updated once a month after going through some testing, okay? The daily builds tend to be updated way faster, so you have maybe some bugs get like resolved very fast, but they tend to be by default like a little bit less stable. You probably won't even notice that, but I suggest to choose a production build. So you can click on production build. Again, because I have already installed, I will be choosing another version. So let's choose a random one production and click on install and you will be prompted with this screen. Now, these are some plugins that you can use to connect Houdini with other softwares. For now, it's not really relevant. So let's leave it like that. I just want to make sure that you have this one enabled. So install SideFX Labs. This is so important. So Labs is a department in SideFX that is taking care of pushing the boundaries of what Houdini can do. So they create amazing tools, but because they are sort of new, they tend to be a little bit less stable or less production ready. So that's why they are compartmentalized in a folder called SideFX Labs. But just to give you an idea, it's something that everyone has installed on their computer because they tend to be essential. So make sure this one is on and then you can choose your preferences if you want to create a desktop shortcut or a start menu shortcut and then click on install. You will see a loading bar and you just need to wait for that to download. Then you can click on launch. If I click on launch, that will open Houdini directly. In your case, it will probably install a license. You see Houdini, of course, like any software, has different kinds of licenses. Here we can check all the different licenses that are available. By default, Houdini will ask you if you want to install the apprentice license and you have all the terms and condition and you can just click on OK. The apprentice license is amazing. It's a side effects way of saying you can just learn the software completely for free. You will have everything unlocked. Every single node that you have in the paid version will be present in the apprentice. The main limitations are that you can 
cannot export in a very high quality and if you try to render you will see a watermark but that makes a lot of sense so for our learning adventures we don't need to buy a license of Houdini if you're curious about more details about the kind of licenses you can just hold your mouse button here and you can get an idea of which one is for you as a last step today I just want to give you a warm welcome to the Houdini community and what that means is that you can just go here and you can find lots of interesting things first of all a forum we can open that on another tab this is where you can ask questions so whenever something happens in Houdini and you don't know what's going on just don't be afraid of asking questions here then if you go to the learn tab you'll find something that I've never seen in another software house so this is a content library this is amazing probably the first time I started learning Houdini finding something like that was like I really want to master this software what this is is basically the effort of like a huge community in providing examples or of something that could even be like very complex like this terrain paint is using machine learning this is a whole colosseum done with PCG and Unreal by a very talented artist I had the pleasure to meet personally. It's mind blowing. And all of this can be downloaded completely for free. So you'll find through your journey in Udini that the software is never the limitation. The only limitation is your time and you're willing to learn it. So definitely take your time to maybe go through all of them and see some of the possibilities of Houdini. And keep that in mind because during our exploration, you'll probably start liking uh, making textures more or maybe lighting more. And you can definitely go back here and look for something very specific and maybe starting also from those scene files. So that said, just take a look into the content library to understand the potential of the software. And I will see you in the next video when we'll start opening Houdini, setting up our interface and I will show you how to make your first cool effect in Houdini. Thanks for staying with me. I will see you in the next one. Cheers!